The debate over the count. President Trump claiming Wayne County Republican canvassers were forced to reverse themselves after originally refusing to certify the vote there. Last night, the four-member board was at first deadlocked with the two GOP members voting not to certify Joe Biden's win in Wayne County. Hours later, they reversed course. The president tweeted today that they only did that because they were threatened, screamed at, and viciously harassed. Detroit's mayor held a press conference today and did not hold back when asked about the actions of the two Republicans last night. American democracy cracked last night, but it didn't break. Uh, but we are seeing a real threat to everything we believe in. The whole principle of the Constitution is one person, one vote. Everybody's vote counts the same. But what you are seeing in this country right now is an effort to say we only want to count the votes of people who agree with us. A meeting that was going to feature public comment today was canceled. Now Michigan Certification Vo uh, Board will meet on Monday to finalize those results. The certification makes it virtually certain that Biden has carried Michigan and our 16 electoral votes. Last night was the deadline for all Michigan counties to certify their results. And News 8's Lindsay McComel checked in with the Kent County Clerk for her take on this year's canvas. All of the results have been reviewed by the board of canvassers and they've been working really since the day after election day, right? We have, uh, each county in Michigan has a board of canvassers. It's made up of two Republicans and two Democrats that are appointed by the board of commissioners and they are charged um, along and with my office is with our assistance with um, reviewing the election. It's, it's a very thorough, deliberative, extensive process. We have 504 total precincts when you count absentee and in-person um, precincts here in Kent County. So in each of those 504 precincts, we review the election totals um, from the tapes in the machine with the um, totals that we have reported here in Kent County to make sure those numbers balance out. We also review the um, poll book, the, the list of voters to make sure the number of voters we have match the number of ballots that were issued. Um, it's a very uh, thorough and important part of our process. We welcome members of the public to come and observe and watch the process unfold um, because it's their election and we think that's important. Did you find that more people were interested this year in coming and watching that Canvas process? We no doubt had um, a much higher interest um, and uh, attendance in our county Canvas this year. Um, we, to be honest, I don't think I've seen a member of the public attend our Canvas in any of my um, previous 12 elections. So this was the first one that, um, that the public made sure to um, engage in. It was really a great two weeks of canvassing this election. I imagine you saw what happened in Wayne County yesterday. Now, I think some of the confusion I at least was seeing online was to have them vote one way and then to reverse that vote and have it have those results certified um, maybe created even more confusion. So if you could give me your perspective on that. You know, I can only speak to what we do here in Kent County. Um, I saw what happened in Wayne County. I don't know what precipitated um, or, or transpired that, that resulted in an initial deadlock and then a subsequent um, certifying of the election. But I can tell you here in Kent County, we do, um, we do our canvas in a very transparent manner. Uh, they are represented by two political parties, but the role of the canvas is a very nonpartisan role. It's focused on the integrity and the security of the election. And Posthumus Lyons is one of three county clerks slated to testify before a joint House and Senate Oversight Committee hearing tomorrow in Lansing. That hearing's in response to the legislators investigating election integrity.